protesters marched through the streets of Portland today calling for the impeachment of President Trump and they paid special attention to a hotel connected to Gordon Sondland, the U.S. ambassador to the European Union and one of the key players set to testify in Washington this week. Coin Six's Jennifer Dowling is live outside that hotel this evening with more on today's protest. Jen? That's right, Emily. The protest wrapped up around 4 o'clock, but marchers did make a stop here at the Heathman Hotel behind Lee because they say it is one of the hotels that is connected to Gordon Sondland. Now, earlier this week, U.S. Representative Earl Blumenauer went as far as to call for a boycott of the Providence Hotels uh, due to their connections to Sondland. And this local march was part of dozens organized across the country today. Sondland was Trump's hand-picked ambassador to the European Union. He's among administration officials being subpoenaed to appear on Capitol Hill this week to testify about involvement in the Ukraine. Gordon Sondland is a local businessman who owns a whole bunch of hotels downtown, including the Heathman Hotel, where we'll be marching today. And he is literally caught in the very center of the impeachment inquiry and is like a key witness and is implicated in Trump's crimes in this, um, you know, developing scandal, corruption scandal that we're learning about with, the, with Ukraine. Just to bring people together and make a statement that there are a number of people in Portland that support imp impeaching this guy. The House has started looking into a number of text messages from top envoys that provided an account of their work acting as intermediaries for Trump. This was around the time Trump urged Ukraine's new president to start investigations into a company linked to the son of chief Democratic presidential rival Joe Biden. Sondland is expected to tell Congress that a text message that he sent reassuring another envoy that there was no quid pro quo in their interactions with Ukraine was based solely on what tr Trump told him. In Sondland's appearance is expected to be on Thursday this week on Capitol Hill. And of course, Trump has denied any impropriety with his involvement in the Ukraine, Trump's involvement in the Ukraine, and has called the impeachment inquiry a, quote, witch hunt. Back to you, Emily. All right, Jennifer, thank you. We'll certainly be keeping a close eye on that investigation this week.